To get that on the camera, I really hope so. Wait. It's Jingle Bell Rock. Harvest time? Oh, that is Silver Bells. Look at me. Scooter. Holy cow. There's surprises for everybody in this game. Holy cow. Ted loses 10 points. <laughs> Deck the courts. Little drummer boy, no. Silent light. Or silent light, no. Oh, Christmas tree, yes. So it was actually the silver bells that put you guys over the top. Because you guys got six, and let me just double check. But yeah, you should check the book for some of my favorite things. So, uh,. You guys have, have steamrolled uh, through this game, I must say, and that makes it uh, 60, 70 points. And with that, you guys are this year's champions. For the rest of the um, wow, I've, I've never had so, uh, a, a group do that, I think, in the final game. Usually the games are closer. And Thanks for playing, guys, really. Um, I'm, I'm going to make you go through the last of the questions, though. We're going to do them as quick as I can, because in some ways the game's over. But I, I love trivia and questions, and you obviously have some prizes uh, w waiting for you in the end. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. They, they've just smoked. But let's see if anybody can pick out this song. I've got a, a, a chorus in a song. It's uh, a, a little tough in some ways, but uh, let's see who knows this. Um, and I'll take song or artist. Our first stop is to Bogota to check Columbia fields. The natives smile and pass along a sample of their yield. No, that's not Jerry Lewis, no. But uh, um, I will finish it if you guys want, because he took a guess before it was done. I like finishing my question first, but uh, do you guys want me to finish the passage? Obviously, you don't have it, so uh, um, yeah. Uh, the native smile and pass along a sample of their yield. Sweet Jamaican pipe dreams, golden Acapulco nights, then Morocco and the East, fly by morning light. No, if you guys know, you gotta wait. These guys get a, a free shot here if they want to take a guess. Um, it's uh, a fairly long course. No, if you know out there, keep it to yourselves. Nice try. You know the rules, actually. But uh, did that uh, chorus come to mind? Any of those words? Don't want to give up more than a hint now, but uh, if nothing's coming to mind, maybe I'll start trying to give out some hints then. Uh, um, I believe this song is from the 70s. That's the first chorus. Um, you know, I didn't listen to it recently, but our first stop is to Bogota to check Columbia Fields. The natives smile and pass along a sample of their yield. Sweet Jamaican pipe dreams, golden Acapulco nights, the Morocco in the east fly by morning light. Um, <coughs> if uh, there's no quick guesses, I'm going to go to multiple choice then. Um, there it is, it's Rush, a passage to Bangkok. Rush, yes. Um, it's uh, a, not as well known, but uh, you know, it's uh, something that, uh, yeah, is uh, a, a good Canadian band. I don't know, you. I'm giving out the hints here, damn it. Jeez. Um, according, <laughs> according to this book here by Lawrence Chenick, or I don't know how to say it. Good try. I haven't met him yet. Classic. Classic. Okay, according to this book, like right in the preface, uh, which two countries, name one of the two countries that Hash was first developed in. Where does Lawrence think it came from? No. That's on the title of the book, though, but no. Nice try. Nice try. Where does Lawrence, one of the two countries that he names as where Hashish came from? Um...
If, if you're clapping, I'm happy. I love it. Okay, Turkey. No, it's not Turkey. And it's not... Oh! Switzerland. It is Tibet! Tibet and China, but Tibet is actually the first one named. Tibet, apparently uh, high up in the mountains, may have been the first places that developed hash off of the plant. So you guys are just unstoppable, and I, I thought I made tough questions. <laughs> okay, on Cannabis Culture's webpage, uh, they're not putting out in print anymore, so we're the only print publication with our newspaper here, sort of in Western Canada, we're quite proud of it, but uh, Cannabis Culture has an online website, and they're staying alive mostly by selling advertising, they got all sorts of shit they're selling these days, like, you can buy all these, like, butter things that they got, like all these different formulations. It's obscenely expensive, some of it, right? But they got all these, like, hash products and stuff. There's this one page, pot by post, you click onto it. They got this menu going on. Within $10, how much is 30 grams? Not including the $10 shipping on the pot by post. Canvas culture, right on there. Little click. Pop by post. If you if you need her, if you can't get it from a club. Pop by post. No, it's it's not the fake weed. No, no, it's yeah. No, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be real weed, right? Uh, but uh, um, you know, uh, within ten dollars, how much? And and I, I I haven't looked up all the details. Whether it's just in Canada, thirty grams, thirty grams, not including the ten dollars shipping they charge. I'm pretty sure it's just in Canada, like it's just Canadian sales. Um, I, 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 I could be wrong, maybe they're shipping pots to the United States. You'd think they'd learned their lesson over there by now. I didn't read all the fine print, but I did read this one. How much? Within 10 bucks? 165. No, it's not 165. What do you, did you guys clap, I think, after them? Yeah, okay, what was your guess? 290. No, uh, it's actually over 290. Oh, so, okay, but I'm saying I love claps, so 320. No, that's not it, Richard. So, quick guess, what's your guess? 42,000. Yeah, yeah, no, no. The, this isn't jackass. You're getting this show confused. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot to do with the smoking contest. Yeah. yeah. Oh, never mind the smoke. Um, so, uh, one, no, a bit more than an ounce. 30 grams. Uh, according to uh, this uh, pot by post site, is worth. <coughs> Three hundred and sixty dollars, four hundred and twenty dollars, four hundred and sixty dollars, or four hundred and ninety dollars for one ounce guaranteed good herb on this pot by post site. Thirty grams, three hundred and sixty, four hundred and twenty, four hundred and sixty, or four hundred and ninety dollars. Which one of those four answers? is correct word so uh i'm i'm okay spit it out no all right what you guys what you guys here but you guys are fucking nuts no it's 360 it's 360 all right so that's kind of ridiculous anybody that pays that is hurting you Nick. Maybe none of it, right? You know, maybe none of it, you know? Anyway, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, somebody is. Somebody is. Somewhere. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, everybody, for playing and, and such. But, man, these guys here just took the cake today. There, there was no doubt about it. And uh, um, I have a, a sort of surprise as well. Before we wrap it up with our 42 seconds, I, I ask you to please stick around. We have 42 seconds for the victims of the drug war. Uh, we've come up with a, a sort of new addition uh, to the, the tournament. The, this is, again, our sixth year that we've had this tournament, and it's been a lot of fun. And uh, tonight's game ha has been, uh, despite the lopsided victory, uh, a lot of fun. And, and both teams uh, are, should be commended. Uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the Roach Clips beat two teams to get here. 
and both the captains here, like there's eight teams, 32 players that got into this contest and competed, and I did as much as I can to get people involved and, and set up, you know, as good a teams as I could.